If you've been looking for an incredibly simple way to automate some of your trading, then you've stumbled across the right video. Today we'll be diving into the basics of how to create a bracket order or a take profit stop loss order within the Thinkorswim mobile app. And we'll even be going through a couple of different examples on both positions you already hold in the account as well as a part of a brand new trade. We'll first begin by placing a bracket order on one of our current positions, and this will be the exact same process for stock, for options, futures, pretty much everything. So let's go ahead and begin by coming down here to the positions tab, which if I click on that, you can actually see all the current positions in this account right now. So beginning on the left hand side, we can see my current positions and the shares that I hold. Then moving to the right, we can see the price that I bought them for, the current price, and then how much I'm up or down since buying them. Taking a closer look at that very first position in the list here, you can actually see American Airlines or AAL. Here you can see I originally bought these 100 shares for $16.49 and unfortunately they're currently trading for $13.65, which is why I'm down over $284. Bucks. But let's actually say I wanted to put out an OCO bracket order to sell these shares if it ever goes back up to 17 or to stop me out if it ever drops below 13 to cut my losses. Doing that is actually pretty simple. We'll simply head over to the far left hand side and hit the little check mark box to the left of the symbol. We'll then see a little button appear right below that and we will simply click on the button marked close selected. It'll then immediately take us to an order ticket to close out my entire position with a very simple limit order. But we'll actually begin by filling this out just like normal. And since this is going to be a limit order, this is going to be our profit taking order. So I am going to leave the order type set as limit. Right below that, I could adjust the quantity if I wanted to. Maybe I don't want to close out of my entire position, but since I do, I'm going to leave it set as 100. I could then come right below that and actually set my profit target. And in this example, I believe I said I wanted to sell it if it ever went back up to 17. So now finally, the only other thing I need to do is actually come down here to the time and force and actually adjust that. And as of right now, it says a day order only, meaning if this order does not fill by 4 p.m. Eastern today, just go ahead and cancel it. So what I want to do is actually click on the little arrow to the right hand side and flip it over to a GTC order, meaning good until canceled. So now this order is going to work every single day until it fills or until I come in here and cancel it manually. But that's going to be everything for our profit taking order. And what I need to do next is actually come down here to the very bottom and I'm going to hit create advanced order to actually add a stop to this order ticket. Within this advanced order window, we can actually see the order we just built over here on the left hand side. And we could actually add an additional order by hitting the little button on the right that says add order. You'll notice that it is identical to the previous order ticket, so what I need to do is actually click on that and edit it to our stop order. So looking here, I'm just going to hit the little arrow to the right of the word limit and adjust to a stop. I am going to leave the quantity set to 100 because I do want to close out of my entire position if it does go down. So now coming down here to the stop activation price, I want to adjust that down to 13 bucks even. I also want to flip the time and force over to GTC so this stop works indefinitely along with the profit taking order. And now that we're actually happy with it and I filled everything out correctly, I'm going to come back up to the upper left hand corner and hit the group button. So now looking here, we can actually see our profit taking order on the left hand side to sell at 17 and our stop loss order on the right hand side to stop us out if it ever goes down to 13. Now since this is an OCO order and we can see that with a little bubble in the center, it means whichever one of these orders fills first, the other one is going to be automatically canceled. So if the stock goes up to 17 and I sell my shares for 17, the stop gets canceled. If the stock starts to go down, it hits 13 and I get stopped out, my limit order will get canceled. But now in order to actually place this, we will simply come up to the upper right hand corner and hit that review button. We'll then get taken to the order confirmation screen just to confirm everything looks right. We filled everything out correctly. And since it does, we can simply come up here to the upper right and hit paper trade. Or if you're in a real account, it'll say send. Now, as soon as we hit send, you'll actually see we get taken to the orders page immediately. And now looking right here, we can actually see our working order to sell this American Airlines position. Now, doing this on a brand new position is nearly identical, but let's go through a quick example just so you guys get the hang of it. We'll first need to head up to the search icon in the upper right hand corner and then type in the symbol of the stock that we want to trade. 
And for this one, we'll go ahead and throw in Google or G-O-O-G and hit done. That'll then take us to the stock profile page where we can see some basic info about Google, a nice little chart down below of its recent price action, and then most importantly for what we're doing, a big buy and sell button in the upper right hand corner. So what we're going to be building in this example is an opening trade to buy some shares at Google if it ever drops down to 114. And then if that ever happens and I actually buy those shares, I want to sell it if it ever goes back up to 120 or get stopped out if it ever drops by 5%. In order to begin that order ticket, we will simply click on that big green buy button in the upper right hand corner. And we'll just begin by actually filling out our opening trade ticket. So right here from top to bottom, I am going to leave it as a limit order. I'm going to adjust the share quantity up to, let's say, 50 shares. We're going to then click on the limit price because I don't want to buy it at its current price. I only want to buy it if it drops down to 114 even. Now, finally, the very last thing in this very simple buy ticket is to adjust it from a day order to a good until cancel order. And now after that, in order to actually place the bracket order to go in right behind it, I will need to come down to the very bottom and select create advance order just like before. You'll notice that it does look very similar to the previous screen that we saw before, but this time our opening trade ticket is at the top and now we need to add both our closing tickets down below. So we'll go ahead and do this just one at a time. So I'm going to hit add order on the left hand side. And now in order to edit that, I'm simply going to click on it. I'm going to go ahead and make this one my profit taking order. So I will leave it as a limit and I'm going to come down here to the limit price and adjust this up to 120 even. I'm also going to adjust it to a GTC order. And now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to come back up to the group in the upper left hand corner. I can then add the stop next by moving over to the right and clicking add order, then coming down below and actually hitting that order ticket to actually edit it. So now beginning at the top here, I do want to adjust the order type from a limit order to let's say a trailing stop order. So now that I've got trailing stop set, I do want to leave the quantity at 50 because I want to close out of the entire position. And now down below that, I can actually set the trail amount. And as of right now, you can see the default is just 10 cents. So I'm basically saying if Google ever drops 10 cents, get me out of this thing. And what I want to do is actually flip this over to a percentage amount by clicking on the little plus or minus icon on the left hand side. That'll then open up a menu for a dollar amount, a percentage amount, or a tick increment for futures. But for this one, we're going to click on percent. And then I'm going to come over here to the actual amount and set it to negative 5%. I also want to adjust it from a day order to a GTC order. And now that I'm happy with that, I will come back up to the group. And here you can see I'm essentially saying that I want to buy 50 shares of Google if it ever goes down to 114. And then if that ever happens, I want to try and sell it for 120 or get stopped out if it ever drops by 5%. Since it looks good, we'll come up here and hit review in the upper right hand corner. Then just confirm that everything looks right in this confirmation screen. And since it does, we will simply come up here and hit paper trade or send if this was a real account. It'll again take us immediately to the orders page. And right here, we can see that working order right at the top to buy those shares. And then once it fills, it'll trigger those two orders to go out right behind it to sell it. Later down the line, if you wanted to edit one of these working orders or cancel them, we would simply click on the order ticket we wanted to edit or cancel. So in this case, let's say I wanted to bump up the opening trade on Google from 114 to 114.50. I'm just going to go ahead and click on it, then come down in a list and hit cancel slash replace. I can then come up here to the price 114, adjust it up to 114.50, and then just go ahead and hit review in the upper right and send the order back out there. So now back on that order screen, we can see the opening trade has been adjusted up a little bit. My opening trade is now set to 114.50, but my closing tickets are still a profit target of 120 and a stop target of 5%. Now, if I decided to just outright cancel the entire working order, the entire OCO bracket, let's just go ahead and click on the Google position once again. I can then come up to the upper right hand corner where it says view group. And now while I'm looking at all three, I could simply hit cancel advance order to cancel all three of them. But that's going to be how you guys will place bracket orders within the Thinkorswim app. And you'll do it exactly the same for stock, for options, futures, pretty much everything. 
Hopefully after all that, you do feel a lot more comfortable with how to place bracket orders within the TOS mobile app. And if you do still have questions or recommendations for other video topics, please let me know down below. And also, if you were looking to learn more, YouTube seems to think you'll find this next video helpful as well. So go ahead and check it out. But that's it for now, everyone. Have a great rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next video.